Alright, after that amazing music intro, hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Cuphead, a game I've been wanting to play for a really long time here on the channel. I've been looking forward to this game for years, ever since I believe it was E3 2014. They showed off a level of this game. I was, I've been hyped and ready for this game to come out. I heard it's hard, and I guess I'm looking forward to that kind of thing. If you guys enjoy this Cuphead, make sure to leave a like on the video, and let me know if you guys want to see more. Possibly be live streaming this game as well, so keep your eyes out for that. Link to my Twitch is in the description. Anyway, let's hop right into this. So I have not yet touched Cuphead, I do not know what to expect. I just know it's got some really cool art styles. The rubber hose animation style is famous back in the 30s. The <laughs> biggest nerd kind of gay. So, <clears throat> once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there lived two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived under the ca without a care under the watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. One day, the two boys wandered far from home, and despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a win streak at the craps table. Hot dog, exclaimed King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose. Nice run, boys, laughed a newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now, how about we raise the stakes, he suggested with a toothy grin. One more roll, and all the loot in my casino is yours, the devil boomed. But if you lose, I have your souls. Deal? Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Um. <clears throat> Good golly, Cuphead! No! cried Mugman, for he understood the danger. But it was too late. Snake eyes, laughed the devil without, while slamming on the floor. You lose. The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now about those souls. The brothers pleaded for their very lives. Um, uh, there must be another way to repay you, Mugman, Mugman stammered. Uh, I stammered while reading that. Y yes, please, 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 Mr. Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I here have a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me, and I just might pardon you two mugs. Now get going. The devil roared. He kicked the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls. Otherwise, I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Uh, come on, Mug! panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kettle. He'll know what to do. So apparently, we really fucked up here, guys. We, we, we pulled a up a, a, a whoopsie. What a fine pickle you've gotten yourselves into. You know you don't- Here we go. <laughs> I know you don't want to be the pawns of the devil. But if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. You, you, you must play along for now, collect those contracts. And you, you'd best be ready for some nasty business at the bingo, bingo table. Oh, uh, that bitch Deborah's always cheating, putting bees where they're supposed to be eyes. Anyway, your dead of friends won't be very friendly once you confront them, if you know what I'm saying, you little bitch. In fact, I expect them to transform into terrible beasts. What the fuck are you? Take this potion so they won't hang you out to dry and so crush the marijuana I found in the basement. Yeah, we'll give you the most remarkable magic abilities. Now go to the writing desk and use the magical inkwell over there, and you'll need to prepare yourself for a scrap. Thanks, Elder Kettle. I'll, I'll do the tutorial uh, off screen. Okay, so the controls seem it's pretty self-explanatory. But I think there's one thing that I've seen people want to change is the the dash button. It's on the X right now. I think I should be able to handle that. That shouldn't be too hard. Because if, if, if anything, I've heard this game's hard. I don't want to make the controls super difficult and make it even harder for myself. Oh, look at this cute little... Look at this cute little place. This is why I really like this game, because of its animation style. I really like it. Oh, this is an apple dude. He's got a, he's, he's like a hobo, so uh, I try to give him a hobo voice, I guess. Um, hey, fellas, looking for, uh, you're in for it now, eh? <laughs> well, I used to be the same way, always getting into trouble. You made a deal with the devil, now you're a hobo. Running, jumping, 
shooting. But now I just prefer strolling around and going to the pictures. Hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. I got three gold coins. Hey. Lamau. What can I do with these coins? Do I go to the shop? Pork Grinds Emporium. Oh, God. That was disgusting. What the hell? Welcome. Jesus. Okay, so apparently these are like items. So these must be different kinds of shootings, I think. You not take damage during a dash. That seems pretty good. Short range. I don't know, I might buy the spread shot right now. <coughs> I can't do it because my... Goodbye! I like talking to you. Something like that. You gotta equip those new purchases if you wanna use them. Look at your equip card, you bums. Goodbye. What is my equip menu? Oh, there it is. Shot A. Peace shooter. Shot B. I'll do the spread. And I have no idea how to change that, but we'll just we'll run with it. So I assume like these things that are actually drawn and animated are the the levels. The root pack. Oh God, do like an old time voice. The root pack in botanic panic. Select your difficulty. Regular. I'm not doing simple. That's a pussy. Okay. So I think I just shoot these boys. Hey. And you parry those. And oh. Oh gosh. Already taking damage on the first boss. That's not good. Gosh. I gotta be so close for this damn thing to work. Okay. I think I just beat. Did I beat the first boss? Is he the root pack? Oh god. What the fuck is this? Um. Yo, stop. wait, what? Stop. The game just stopped. Okay. We're not. A carrot? What the fuck is this? Hey, boy. Um. Do I just dodge these? What the fuck's he doing? What the fuck? It's like a carrot. I'm not. I was not ready for this. TBH. Deal damage. Oh, that's actually good for the carrots. Yeah. You're doing that. Ah. Oh. Uh, Dodge you. And oh. Dodge you. How much damage do you take, B? What the hell? You're like invincible. I only have one HP left too. I don't want to die in the first boss. I want to. I want to be a professional Cuphead player. There we go. Hey, that's that's easy. There we go. That game's cool. We beat the first boss. We beat the first. Hey, boss. And one minute, 32 seconds, I got an HP bonus for some reason, even though I died. And my grade, what I get Bs? An A minus? That's passing. I'll take it. I think. I hope it's passing. Look at that. We just did it. And we unlocked the new stairwell. Hooray. We got the soul contract for the root pack. From the devil's office from King Dice. Signed by the devil himself. And there's the seal. Neato, neato, neato. Uh, we'll talk to... I think we'll talk to this coin and perhaps end the first episode of Cuphead after we beat the first boss. And who? What do you... This guy looks like a gangster. We'll give him a gangster voice. Humph! We a monkey's uncle if I'm putting my moolah in the bank. For all I know, the devil probably controls that place too. They never get a hold of my gold if I spread it all around, all around. If I get some, if some Joe happens to find a coin or two, good for him. That's what I say. All right. All right. If you guys enjoyed this first episode of Cuphead, make sure to leave a like. And as always, why not subscribe as well if you're new to the Critish Hun channel? Did I just discover this? Well, just I got an achievement for that. What the fuck? Okay, anyway, thank you for subscribe, uh, watching the video of Cuphead. Uh, that's going to be playing more of this in the future. Stay tuned to my Twitch for live streams. I'll perhaps do that in the future. Um, yes, and the next episode will take on another boss.